Introduction to Material Science and Engineering offered by Edupedia World. Previous lecture I introduced you to the concept of crystallographic directions and we discussed it for the cubic system. Today we will see the crystallographic direction for the hexagonal system. In the cubic system we used three Miller indices to pinpoint the direction of a line. Here what we will do instead of using three Miller indices we will be using four Miller indices and uh, the reason uh, I'll explain you in this slide. So let's start with the discussion. So instead of HKL, we'll use HKL and uh, I in between. But the catch is that this condition will always be satisf satisfied. That is H plus K plus I is equal to zero. Therefore, in fact, if we see, we end up with three mi uh, Miller indices itself. But we have just added a redu redundant Miller indice in terms of I. But what is the logic behind it? Why do we do need to do it? H, K and L is sufficient to carry out the task. The idea is that this the I which we have added helps to visualize similar direction. Sorry, this would be direction over here. And the example which I will give you is if I say 1, 1, 0 and 1, 2 bar 0 for hexagonal system they seem quite different right but in fact they belong to sim similar direction how come in the four miller indices system 110 is basically 112 bar 0 because h plus k is 2 therefore i should be minus 2 and 1 2 bar 0 is 1 2 bar 1 0 because 1 minus 2 plus 1 is 0 right so we have and from here what we can see is this is 1 1 2 bar 0 and this is 1 2 bar 1 0 therefore this both similar direction means which was not evident from the 3 Miller indice system so this 4 Miller indice system makes it quite evident for the hexagonal systems to find the directions are similar in nature or be which become belong to the similar family now let us go in details uh, for the hexagonal system so now let me show you the two directions which I discussed in the previous slide which should be similar but appears different in the three Miller indice system 1 1 2 bar 0 and 1 2 bar 1 0 to begin with uh, we need to define the coordinate geometry uh, coordinate system on which the hexagonal system will be based on the coordinate system is basically that this is my hexagonal unit cell these are in fact three unit cells as I had uh, mentioned before but in hexagonal system we'll uh, use this uh, scenario we have three directions at 120 degrees to each other at the base this is my first direction a1 then I have a2 and a3 these are 120 degrees apart and then we have a C direction which is perpendicular to a1 a2 and a3 okay now when we are trying to find the direction 1 1 2 bar 0 pardon me for using the wrong symbol here this should in fact be the square brackets all of them the braces are used for planes so this mistake should not have happened but uh, now this uh, kind of introduces you to the possible errors that can happen right okay so now uh, we need to find out 1 1 2 bar 0 the first step is to check that whether this is a valid direction h plus k plus i is in fact 0 over here 1 plus 1 minus 2 is 0 so this is a valid direction in hexagonal system now how do we find out the direction we go one step in a1 direction similar approach one step in a1 one step in a2 direction so from here till here this is my a2 direction so i go from here till here and, and then we go minus two steps in a3 direction so one step two step there and uh, in the c direction in this perpendicular direction we go zero steps therefore the direction 1 1 2 bar 0 is this direction right this can also be drawn just like this next let us see what is 1 2 bar 1 0 direction so first one step in a1 direction minus two steps in a2 direction 
we need to come one step two step backwards and then we go one step in a uh, three direction okay so one step over here if you see this alternatively you can say this as one step in a1 one step in a3 and negative two step in a2 direction one two okay so this direction is basically sorry about that again basically something like this this should be a straight line again so what we see is this direction 1 1 2 bar 0 is the is between a1 and a2 1 2 bar 1 0 is between a1 and a3 similarly by same thought process you can extrapolate 2 bar 1 1 0 should be this direction let's check it out 2 bar is one step two step let's begin with uh, a2 and a3 a2 is one step a3 is one step and then further two steps back in a1 direction so obviously this is the direction we were correct about it this means that this are the families of directions and obviously this is a much better representation than the three system three uh, indices system which would have been one one zero one two bar zero and two bar one zero it's quite difficult from here to realize these three are belonging to the same family okay next let's see a few more direction crystallographic direction for the hexagonal system let's uh, try to plot one zero one bar one one zero one bar one one unit in a1 direction zero unit in a2 so it remains here minus one unit in a3 direction which means till here and then one unit in c direction okay so what happens is we go out somewhere over here so the direction will be basically sorry direction will be basically something like this you can ba basically draw any direction you want by changing the miller indices just keep in mind that the sum of this three should be equal to zero let's uh, try out one zero one bar two one in a direction one in a one direction zero in a two direction minus one in a three direction so this brings us back over here and then two units in c direction so one unit two unit which means that instead of this inclination this should quite go twice upwards so the inclination will be red increased so it should basically come out something like this okay so i hope this gives you an idea about uh, the crystallographic direction for the hexagonal system too now let us try to figure out some hexagonal direction miller indices if we are provided the direction if you are to find out this direction this direction how do we figure it out let's take a step by step approach so to figure out the direction miller indices for this direction what we can do is that we can go one step in a1 direction a1 uh, one step and then we go minus two step in a2 direction so a2 direction is this direction i am asking you to come one step two step to the negative okay and then one step in the a3 direction so one step in this direction so basically what will happen this is equivalent to one step in a1 one step in a3 and two step in minus a1 okay which means we are moving effectively three steps in minus a2 direction right three steps in minus a2 direction and uh, now this line this means that we are in this direction but we have moved instead of one step effectively we have moved three steps now since we needed to climb one step in c direction now we need to climb three steps in order to attain the same direction so the c direction will also be three step because here we have moved one two three so one two three effectively this direction can be attained therefore the miller indices for this direction turns out to be one two bar one three but uh, you might have observed that this is quite a tricky scenario in order to find out how many steps we need to move in which direction it is uh, actually close to impossible to do it in one go so we have an alternative method which we can use in uh, such complicated scenarios let's discuss the alternative method for hexagonal systems so what the alternative method does is that instead of using the four miller indices we 
start with three Miller indices we find three Miller indices and then we add the fourth Miller indices using this conversion rule I will not go into the details about how the conversion rule is obtained but I'll just step by step show you how this can be done so the direction that we needed to find was this isn't it in the three Miller indice system we'll use only a1 and a2 and the c direction we will not use a3 we will not use a3 so in order to come in this direction obviously we need to move one unit in c direction but what are the combination of a1 and a2 that we need to move let's see if from here i take one step in the negative a2 direction i am already where i need to be in this i add one c direction and i reach there right therefore the net movement should be h dash which is in the a1 direction is 0 unit k dash which is in the a2 direction is minus 1 unit negative 1 and l dash l dash sorry this should be small i l dash should be 1 unit right so now we have the Miller indices for this direction in the 3 Miller indice system 0 1 bar 1 now all we need to do is convert this into the uh, four Miller indice system using this formulation as I said you need not worry where did we get this from just use the formula so h will be equal to 1 upon 3 times 2 h dash which is 0 minus of minus 1 which is plus 1 which gives me 1 by third k is 1 upon 3 2 times minus 1 which is minus 2 and minus 0 so this gives me minus 2 by 3 this is i sorry again i will be equal to minus of h plus k this is the basic rule for the four miller in this system so i will be equal to minus of 1 by 3 minus 2 by 3 which turns out to be i is equal to 1 upon 3 and l is same as l dash which is 1 therefore the four miller in this system gives a result of 1 upon 3 minus 2 upon 3 1 upon 3 1 now we need to convert this multiply it by 3 what we get 1 2 bar 1 3 right so this is the miller in this for this line in the four miller in this system let us see what we got beforehand one two bar one three in fact we were supposed to get the same so what we see is that if it is uh, difficult to find out the exact values using directly the four miller in this system translate it using first finding the three miller in this system uh, indices and then using this formula convert it into the formula in this system okay so this uh, brings us to a closure on the discussion about crystallographic directions for hexagonal system next lecture we'll start discussing about crystallographic planes and how do we uh, find the miller indices for crystallographic planes till next lecture have a great day goodbye